Eric YouTube, we're back again for more of our Origins Bonanza Explosion Blood coverage. We're live at Origins 2019 with my good friend Adam. Hello. And we're playing all the games, telling you all about them, letting you know what we think. Right now, we're talking about the upcoming Bezia game, which I believe is a Gen Con release, they said. Uh, Silver. And I think it might be si subtitled the Silver Amulet. No, I think it's part of the Amulet series. I don't know. Something like that. Whatever, it was a dumb name. Uh, it's for two to four players, take about 30 to 45 minutes to play. It's for ages 10 plus. And this is a game, you know, everything's got to be Werewolf for them. So this essentially is a game that's not anything at all like Werewolf. Uh, it's more of a number game with special ability cards. Not to say it's a bad thing, just calling a duck a duck. Uh, in which you're going to work to have the lowest total number in your village, aka the fewest amount of werewolves in your village. Uh, there was a, a very pronounced memory aspect to this game. There was lots and lots of different abilities in this game. I think there was, what, uh, 13 cards? Yep. Oh, no, because there was a zero. So there's 14 cards, and each card had its own special ability. And you're trying to put these cards into your row, but at the same time, it was really simple mechanisms. So you start out with a village of five cards, uh, you're going to look at two of those cards, so you do have some knowledge. And then in your turn, you have the choice to either draw a card from the top of the deck or draw a card from the discard, the, the discard pile. If you draw a card from the top of the deck, then the first thing you do is you could just discard it and take whatever action was on that if it was applicable. The next thing you could do, and this is always something you could do, is you could exchange that card for one card, one card in your village row. Uh, either one you know or you don't know, either way it works. What you also can do, and what the interesting aspect is, if you have a match, or perhaps a three-way match down there, so let's say you had a six, a six, and a six, and you knew all three of them were sixes, you could take that card and you could exchange it for those three sixes, which would now mean that your village would only have three cards down there, which is great because you're trying to have the lowest possible number uh, at the certain point where you go for a vote. And we'll talk but about Forrest, what if you thought it had three sixes and it only had uh, two sixes and a five. Well, then you just uh, you get shafted and you kind of lose your turn. Yep, and you add the card that oh, you're taking oh, that's big. to your settlement. I so you now have six way. cards yeah. instead of five, and you have to get down to four to actually end the game. Yeah, and this game is, is very unforgiving if you don't have all the knowledge, which I found mm -hmm. out very, very quickly. Because the other thing is, you're going to be doing this, you're going to be flipping cards over, and some of the, the cards, I believe, uh, zero through four had their own special abilities that could only be used if they were flipped up in front of you. Uh, and some were better than others, some were really interesting. So one of them automatically won you the, the game? No, it was the round. No, no. Uh, won you the round. Uh, but the other action you, you could take, in addition to taking the discard and from the top of the deck, what, oh, when you take a discard, you can only exchange it. You can't use a special ability. You could call for a boat. And you're calling for a boat and saying, I have the lowest score down here in front of me. Everybody else, not including you, gets one more turn to do whatever they would like to do, and then you tally up the score. And whoever has the lowest score is going to be the champion. Uh, they don't score any points, or champion for that round, they don't score ever any points. Uh, and the other players are going to score the points for however much numbers they have. But if you screw up, which I did, um, you get did penalized hard. Like you get um, your points in front of you, plus you get 10 points, which, which is a big, big chunk of points, especially if you're playing people with, who are good at the game. Uh -huh. There's also an amulet that comes into play, which if you have the lowest score, you win this amulet, uh, which once during the next round will allow you to completely lock down a card you have so that no one can mess with it. Period. It's just invincible. And, and I feel like that's pretty much the crux. You go over uh, the course of four rounds, wherever it is the fewest points at the end of four rounds is going to be the winner of the game. So what do you think of Bezzy Games' uh, upcoming release, Silver? I liked it. Uh, this one I would definitely play uh, over and over again. Uh, I think that it had a lot going for it. Um, there... So, so the only gripe I would have with it would be that... Uh, I could see it not having a lot of variety because it's always the same cards. But th what I do remember is that they said the next the next game in the series was going to be called Amulet or Silver no, Bullet. Bullet so or Silver. That together oh, they are Silver so Bullet dumb. with, but the, it's gonna with have the werewolf theme. But I'm pretty sure they're going to try and uh, like one night ultimate or one night one week ultimate werewolf. Whatever the heck it is. Um, one night ultimate where but they're gonna have the different cards that can be mixed in together so you could have the Oh really? Yeah, I'm pretty Is sure that what it was? That. Oh. Which would give it some legs if you're willing to buy the expansions. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I also thought some of the powers were, were, were like interesting. Uh, one in particular comes to my mind, the Squire, which gave every, it felt like it helped everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, and it's supposed to be one of those good that, parts that I really helped like, you. Oh, I wish I hadn't have done that. I will also <laughs> say that some of the cards, um, and this, granted, this being said, we didn't have the rules, we just got a rule explanation. We had to ask for a lot of clarifications about mm -hmm. what happens if this happens and that happens. Well, so if there, we had a rule book there, we would have looked it up in like a second. But, but they did not make that available to us. And, but here's the thing, I thought they still taught the game well, but what I'm saying is we still would have had to have gone back to the rule booklet a couple times from time to time to time. Sure. Which is annoying, but that being said, once you do it, you might know the those niche questions. Either way, I definitely think you were hotter on it than me. I thought you really, really liked this one. I did right? really enjoy it. I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, I would play it again. I was not very good at it, but I still enjoyed it. Oh, I, we were I, terrible at this game. I, I didn't quite understand why the amulet goes to the person who won the last round. Because I thought that was a little bit of... Like, uh, overpower? Yeah. Yeah, because away victory. it's a catch-up mechanism. That amulet is very, very useful. You get yourself a zero or a one or a two or something down there. You lock it down, and boom, that's great for you. Mm -hmm. And you're giving it to the person who already was doing well. I didn't understand that. Did you have... Did that make any sense that, to you? That, uh, yeah, that did not make any sense. That's true. I didn't even think about that. At because the time. I lost the first round of the guy. You didn't win any of the rounds. No, no, no. no. Yeah, the, the guy that got the amulet. But well, the guy won the first round, and then he got the amulet, and he made a play on the amulet, which pretty much. Well, I tied him from the second round. Yeah. yeah. But if he wouldn't have the amulet, you probably wouldn't have tied him. You probably would have won that round. Correct. So it's like I didn't understand that as well. I still thought it was a good game. I would definitely play it again if you bought this and brought the game out. I'd be more than happy to play it again. Uh, but there you go. That is Silver Amulet question mark in the Amulet yeah. series and the Amulet line or that uh, from Bezier <laughs> Games. Good game, irregardless. Potentially, would you say it's a great game? Did you like it that much? I wouldn't say Very it's good. a great game. Very good. Yeah, very good. So there you go, Silver. Silver from Bezzy Games. Uh, it looks like it might be a cup of tea. Be sure to check that one out. If you enjoyed what we're doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the, this channel, click on the Amazon Associates link down below. And in the comments below, let me know. Stonehenge, how did it happen? What? Stonehenge, how did it happen? How did they get here? Uh, they, they built it back way back when. Really? Yeah. You don't think it was aliens? Yeah. You think it was aliens? I do not think it was the aliens that built it. But you don't know. <laughs> yeah, Pass yeah. on this question. Pass. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. It's always. <laughs> Thanks for your time, YouTube. Check the Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs>